Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You may be seated. Please pause for a moment of silence. Good morning, Elko Eagles. Welcome to Eagles News, keeping you up to date on all Elko things. I am Renata Today Talaya. And I am Adrielli. Today is October 18th. Today is a day two. You will have blocks five, six, seven, and eight. The weather today will be mainly sunny. It will reach a high of 58 degrees and a low of 36 degrees. The lunch choices today will be ham and cheese, chef salad, taco salad, chicken and cheese, nachos, or a grilled cheese sandwich. The world's finest chocolate fundraiser has finished. We are so proud of the amazing effort everyone put into selling the chocolate bars. Money from all... Money from sales is due. Turn in all money to Miss Croxton at the bottom of the stairs near the elevator. For gym and PE this week, Mr. Miles and Ms. Boris will be in the gym. Ms. Thomas and Ms. Jenkins will be in the classrooms. Are you looking to join a club that promotes inclusion and rights for all students? If this sounds like you, no place for hate welcomes you. Please complete an entrance form by scanning the QR code on the bright yellow flyers in the hallway. If you have any questions, please see Ms. Flowers and school counselor. Attention students, Elko's No Place for Hate Spirit Week continues today with Jersey Day. I see lots of people around Jersey today. Tomorrow is Unity Day. Everyone should get decked out in their boldest shades of orange to block out bullying. I bet you are curious to know more about Unity Day. Here's a video that explains. Every year, one day in October, my whole entire school would dress up in orange. And I mean everyone. It wasn't a trend, but something more special. Something called Unity Day. Unity Day is just like the name. A day where everyone comes together and stands up against bullying and unites together as a whole. The whole point was to say that we as a united, close-knit community are standing against common things like bullying and other hurtful words. So why do we celebrate Unity Day? Well, first of all, Unity Day was created by Pacers National Bullying Prevention Center, and their motto is that together, we can create a world without bullying. And that's true. Together, we can make the world a better place and make it so everyone feels free to be who they are. So why do we wear orange on Unity Day? Well, first of all, the color orange is already associated with the month of October. As the leaves are turning from their amazing green to these beautiful shades of red, orange, yellow, we're celebrating something important. Another reason is that orange is associated with safety. If you've ever been driving down a road, you notice these orange traffic cones, and they're usually there to make sure that someone actually notices that they're there in the first place. Orange, especially neon orange, is really eye-catching. And that's the third reason that they chose orange. They want to make a statement that we're standing against bullying and that we don't want this to happen. So wearing orange really just shows that you care. So how can you participate in Unity Day while we're all stuck at home? The first thing you can do is wear orange. It's one of the simplest tasks and you know that you're supporting something big. Also, you should be an upstander instead of a bystander. With all of us on the internet, there's such a high risk of people being cyberbullied. And with fake profiles and people thinking they can be mean behind the screen, a lot of it's still happening today. If you see anything, then you should either report it or you can be brave and stand up against that person. Lastly, just be kind to everyone and let them know that you're there. Being united doesn't mean that you have to do something big. Just show that you're there and that you care. Lastly, just remember that even if it's not Unity Day, you shouldn't be doing these things. I'm not saying that you should wear orange every day, but standing up for someone in need or helping someone get through something is the right way to go. I hope you all enjoyed this video and have a great Unity Day. Bye! In sports news, tennis, basketball, and soccer will play today at Roth and Thursday the 20th at home versus home. Football will play against Fairfield on Wednesday. They will be playing here at Elko. If you plan to attend the game, remember that you must first go home and return to watch the game.
All games will start at five o'clock. We wish our we wish all our Elko Eagles good luck. Did you know that winter sports will start in a few weeks? What? Wow, so soon. <laughs> yes, wrestling and boys basketball will begin November 14th. Anyone interested in trying out should get up get, get an updated physical soon. Athletic physicals are considered current if they are dated after May 1st, 2022. If you already turned in your physical this year, you do not need to turn in another one. Our focus on digital citizenship week continues today. Okay, I'll go. Bye, show chance. How many people communicate with friends by text? How about communicating in games or in apps like WhatsApp, YouTube, Discord, or some other app? Raise your hand if you use any of those to message your friends. <laughs> Today, we're going to talk about what you can do to be safe and responsible when talking to people online. To begin, we're going to watch a video to hear from teens and their experiences talking to people online. As you watch, pay close attention to the benefits and potential risks they share. There are a lot of people out there who aren't who they say they are, in small ways and big ways. I think it is totally fine for someone to become friends with someone online, but you have to be very, very careful. You know, they're thinking over their texts and their pictures could be fake. On social media, you can talk to people, but like you can't really get your emotion across. Talking to strangers online, it's 50-50. Some of the benefits of online relationships, it's definitely easier to interact and talk to people because you, you're thinking about what you're saying and you just are more comfortable. Right, so some of the greatest parts about having a friendship with someone online is that they're easily accessible. You can just text them, be like, hey, what's up? You can have that sort of immediate connection all the time. If you are in a smaller community, becoming friends with someone online allows you to become friends with someone who has a similar interests as you and you can have a really good friendship with someone. I really do enjoy playing video games. Connecting with other people, whether they're strangers or if I'm playing with my friends and talking to them and you know, doing something together. I think that that's really fun that we can all enjoy the same thing. You don't feel like you actually have to deal with this person. So if they don't like what you're saying, they can leave. And if you don't like what you're say what they're saying, you can leave. Sometimes having conversations can just be kind of, they can make you sort of anxious. When you're online, you're behind the screen. It'll make it easier for them to say things that they want to say, that they might not say in real life. There is a very significant difference between a real friendship and an online friendship. That's not to say that your online friendships aren't real, it's just that they're different. There's something called IBS, so inter Internet Best Friends, and basically they text and they become best friends, but they haven't met them in real life. I felt a lot of genuine trust between the people that I talked to online because they were really close friends of my close friends. It's just, I think trust is the main thing. So I have become friends with people who are friends of friends or I know through other people. I'll add them on, you know, Instagram or Snapchat, you know, whatever it is I'm using. And maybe I'll just say hi or just like start a conversation. There's things that you can tell people online that you can't tell people in real life. At the same time, you have to know how to be safe, right? I would say I'm more comfortable talking face to face because like, on social media, you can talk to people, but like it's hard to like communicate like a sense of realness and like emotions. If the person is a total stranger to you, you may they may have an alternative motive trying to get other information out of you. They might be pretending to be somebody that they're not. They might be using you for something. Like please don't tell people online your full name or where you live. You don't actually know who they really are and you need to be sure that they're okay. I think a lot of people assume that because you're having, you have a friend online and they're kind of not always in your day to day and you can choose and edit what you say to them, that it's always gonna be good, but it's still a relationship. It's still two people and you're giving them a lot of information about yourself. Your teacher will continue this topic in advisory after the announcements are over. Thanks for listening and remember, we are Elko experts. We have Elko pride. I am positive. I am responsible.
I have integrity. I am disciplined. I am engaged. We will soar. Have a great day.